a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Microsoft Microsoft Corporation is an American multinational technology company with headquarters in Redmond, Washington. It develops, manufactures, licenses, supports and sells computer software, consumer electronics, personal computers, and services. Its best-known software products are the Microsoft Windows line of operating systems, the Microsoft Office Suite, and the Internet Explorer, and Edge web browsers. Its flagship hardware products are the Xbox video game consoles and the Microsoft Surface tablet lineup. As of 2016, it is the world's largest software maker by revenue, and one of the world's most valuable companies. The word, Microsoft, is a portmanteau of, microcomputer, and, software. Microsoft was founded by Paul Allen and Bill Gates on April 4, 1975, to develop and sell basic interpreters for the Altair 8800. It rose to dominate the personal computer operating system market with MS-DOS in the mid-1980s, followed by Microsoft Windows, the company's 1986 initial public offering, and subsequent rise in its share price, created three billionaires, and an estimated 12,000 millionaires among Microsoft employees. Since the 1990s, it has increasingly diversified from the operating system market, and has made a number of corporate acquisitions, their largest being the acquisition of LinkedIn for $26.2 billion in December 2016, followed by Skype Technologies for $8.5 billion in May 2011. Microsoft is market dominant in the IBM PC compatible operating system market and the Office software suite market, although it has lost the majority of the overall operating system market to Android. The company also produces a wide range of other consumer and enterprise software for desktops and servers, including Internet Search, the digital services market, mixed reality, cloud computing and software development. Steve Ballmer replaced Gates as CEO in 2000, and later envisioned a devices and services strategy. This began with the acquisition of Danger Incorporated in 2008, entering the personal computer production market for the first time in June 2012 with the launch of the Microsoft Surface line of tablet computers, and later forming Microsoft Mobile through the acquisition of Nokia's devices and services division. Since Satya Nadella took over as CEO in 2014, the company has scaled back on hardware and has instead focused on cloud computing a move that helped the company's shares reach its highest value since December 1999. 1972-1985, the founding of Microsoft. Childhood friends Paul Allen and Bill Gates sought to make a successful business utilizing their shared skills in computer programming. In 1972 they founded their first company, named Trafodata, which sold a rudimentary computer to track and analyze automobile traffic data. While Gates enrolled at Harvard, Allen pursued a degree in computer science at Washington State University, though he later dropped out of school to work at Honeywell. The January 1975 issue of Popular Electronics featured micro-instrumentation and telemetry systems Altair 8800 microcomputer, which inspired Allen to suggest that they could program a basic interpreter for the device. After a call from Gates claiming to have a working interpreter, Mitz requested a demonstration. Since they didn't yet have one, Allen worked on a simulator for the Altair while Gates developed the interpreter. Although they developed the interpreter on a simulator, and not the actual device, it worked flawlessly when they demonstrated the interpreter to Mitz in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mitz agreed to distribute it, marketing it as Altair Basic. Gates and Allen officially established Microsoft on April 4, 1975, with Gates as the CEO, the original name of. Microsoft, was suggested by Allen. In August 1977 the company formed an agreement with ASCII magazine in Japan, resulting in its first international office, ASCII Microsoft. Microsoft moved to a new home in Bellevue, Washington in January 1979. Microsoft entered the operating system business in 1980 with its own version of Unix, called Xenix. However, it was MS-DOS that solidified the company's dominance. After negotiations with Digital Research failed, IBM awarded a contract to Microsoft in November 1980 to provide a version of the CP-MOS, 
which was set to be used in the upcoming IBM personal computer. For this deal, Microsoft purchased a CP-M clone called 86DOS from Seattle Computer Products, which it branded as MS-DOS, though IBM rebranded it to PC-DOS, following the release of the IBM PC in August 1981. Microsoft retained ownership of MS-DOS. Since IBM had copyrighted the IBM PC BIOS, other companies had to reverse engineer it in order for non-IBM hardware to run as IBM PC compatibles, but no such restriction applied to the operating systems. Due to various factors, such as MS-DOS's available software selection, Microsoft eventually became the leading PC operating systems vendor. The company expanded into new markets with the release of the Microsoft Mouse in 1983, as well as with a publishing division named Microsoft Press. Paul Allen resigned from Microsoft in 1983 after developing Hodgkin's disease. Allen claimed that Gates wanted to dilute his share in the company when he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease, because he didn't think he was working hard enough. After leaving Microsoft, Allen lost billions of dollars on ill-conceived or mistimed technology investments. He later invested in low-tech sectors, sports teams, and commercial real estate. 1985-1994, Windows and Office Despite having begun jointly developing a new operating system, OS-2, with IBM in August 1985, Microsoft released Microsoft Windows, a graphical extension for MS-DOS, on November 20. Microsoft moved its headquarters to Redmond on February 26, 1986, and on March 13 went public, with the resulting rise in stock making an estimated 4 billionaires and 12,000 millionaires from Microsoft employees. Microsoft released its version of OS-2 to original equipment manufacturers on April 2, 1987. In 1990, due to the partnership with IBM, the Federal Trade Commission set its eye on Microsoft for possible collusion, marking the beginning of over a decade of legal clashes with the U.S. government. Meanwhile, the company was at work on a 32-bit OS, Microsoft Windows NT, which was heavily based on their copy of the OS-2 code. It shipped on July 21, 1993, with a new modular kernel in the Win32 application programming interface, making porting from 16-bit Windows easier. Once Microsoft informed IBM of NT, the OS-2 partnership deteriorated. In 1990, Microsoft introduced its Office Suite. Microsoft Office, the suite bundled separate productivity applications, such as Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. On May 22, Microsoft launched Windows 3.0 featuring streamlined user interface graphics and improved protected mode capability for the Intel 386 processor. Both Office and Windows became dominant in their respective areas. On July 27, 1994, the U.S. Department of Justice Antitrust Division filed a competitive impact statement that said, in part, beginning in 1988 and continuing until July 15, 1994. Microsoft induced many OEMs to execute anti-competitive per-processor licenses. Under a per-processor license, an OEM pays Microsoft a royalty for each computer it sells containing a particular microprocessor, whether the OEM sells the computer with a Microsoft operating system or a non-Microsoft operating system. In effect, the royalty payment to Microsoft when no Microsoft product is being used acts as a penalty or tax on the OEM's use of a competing PC operating system. Since 1988, Microsoft's use of per-processor licenses has increased. 1995-2007, foray into the web, Windows 95, Windows XP, and Xbox. Following Bill Gates' internal Internet Tidal Wave memo, on May 26, 1995, Microsoft began to redefine its offerings and expand its product line into computer networking and the World Wide Web. The company released Windows 95 on August 24, 1995, featuring preemptive multitasking, a completely new user interface with a novel start button, and 32-bit compatibility. Similar to NT, it provided the Win32 API. Windows 95 came bundled with the online service MSN and Internet Explorer. 
a web browser. Internet Explorer was not bundled with the retail Windows 95 boxes, because the boxes were printed before the team finished the web browser, and instead was included in the Windows 95 Plus pack. Branching out into new markets in 1996, Microsoft and General Electric's NBC unit created a new 24-7 cable news channel, MSNBC. Microsoft created Windows CE 1.0, a new OS designed for devices with low memory and other constraints, such as personal digital assistance. In October 1997, the Justice Department filed a motion in the Federal District Court, stating that Microsoft violated an agreement signed in 1994 and asked the court to stop the bundling of Internet Explorer with Windows. On January 13, 2000, Bill Gates handed over the CEO position to Steve Ballmer, an old college friend of Gates and employee of the company since 1980, while creating a new position for himself as chief software architect. Various companies including Microsoft formed the Trusted Computing Platform Alliance in October 1999 to increase security and protect intellectual property through identifying changes in hardware and software. Critics decried the alliance as a way to enforce indiscriminatory restrictions over how consumers use software and over how computers behave and as a form of digital rights management. For example the scenario where a computer is not only secured for its owner, but also secured against its owner as well. On April 3, 2000, a judgment was handed down in the case of United States v. Microsoft, calling the company an abusive monopoly. Microsoft later settled with the U.S. Department of Justice in 2004. On October 25, 2001, Microsoft released Windows XP, unifying the mainstream and NT lines of OS under the NT code base. The company released the Xbox later that year, entering the game console market dominated by Sony and Nintendo. In March 2004 the European Union brought antitrust legal action against the company, citing it abused its dominance with the Windows OS, resulting in a judgment of €497 million Euros and requiring Microsoft to produce new versions of Windows XP without Windows Media Player, Windows XP Home Edition N and Windows XP Professional N. In November 2005, the Xbox 360 was released. There were two versions, a No Frills version for $299.99 and a Bells and Whistles version for $399.99. 2007-2011 Microsoft Azure, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Microsoft Stores Released in January 2007, the next version of Windows, Vista, focused on features, security and a redesigned user interface dubbed Aero. Microsoft Office 2007, released at the same time, featured a ribbon user interface which was a significant departure from its predecessors. Relatively strong sales of both products helped to produce a record profit in 2007. The European Union imposed another fine of €899 million Euros for Microsoft's lack of compliance with the March 2004 judgment on February 27, 2008, saying that the company charged rivals unreasonable prices for key information about its workgroup and back-office servers. Microsoft stated that it was in compliance and that these fines are about the past issues that have been resolved. 2007 also saw the creation of a multi-core unit at Microsoft, following the steps of server companies such as Sun and IBM. Gates retired from his role as chief software architect on June 27, 2008. A decision announced in June 2006, while retaining other positions related to the company in addition to being an advisor for the company on key projects. Azure Services Platform the company's entry into the cloud computing market for Windows, launched on October 27, 2008. On February 12, 2009, Microsoft announced its intent to open a chain of Microsoft-branded retail stores, and on October 22, 2009 the first retail Microsoft store opened in Scottsdale, Arizona. The same day Windows 7 was officially released to the public, Windows 7's focus was on refining Vista with ease of use features and performance enhancements, rather than a large reworking of Windows. As the smartphone industry boomed in 2007, 
Microsoft had struggled to keep up with its rivals Apple and Google in providing a modern smartphone operating system. As a result, in 2010 Microsoft revamped their aging flagship mobile operating system, Windows Mobile, replacing it with a new Windows Phone OS. Microsoft implemented a new strategy for the software industry that had them working more closely with smartphone manufacturers, such as Nokia, and providing a consistent user experience across all smartphones using the Windows Phone OS. It used new user interface design language, code named Metro, which prominently used simple shapes, typography and iconography, utilizing the concept of minimalism. Microsoft is a founding member of the Open Networking Foundation started on March 23, 2011. Fellow founders were Google, HP Networking, Yahoo, Verizon, Deutsche Telekom and 17 other companies. This non-profit organization is focused on providing support for a new cloud computing initiative called Software Defined Networking. The initiative is meant to speed innovation through simple software changes in telecommunications networks, wireless networks, data centers and other networking areas. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?